Today, the city of Norfolk took the next step to remove its Confederate monument. The statue of Johnny Reb came down off its column in the downtown area on Friday. Now the city is removing the rest of the monument, even in chilly, rainy conditions. 13 News Now reporter Madison Kimbrough has the details. Rainy weather and windy conditions didn't stop city workers from starting the removal process of the Confederate monument known as Johnny Reb. Starting at 6 a.m., the streets were blocked off by police, allowing construction workers to get to work and remove the rest of the Confederate monument. Not so much of an easy task with the rain and strong winds barreling through, but just like the weather conditions on Friday weren't the best, the construction crew was prepared to work through it. They're going to continue to work in the rain. Um, as long as we don't have any thunder and lightning, it'll be fine. These very large, tall cranes are, are basically lightning rods. So they brought in this bucket. Um, this a little bit sturdier. It doesn't swing like the one that we saw the other day when it took down the statue, so they're able to work in these conditions. The city made the decision to remove the rest of the monument sooner rather than later due to public safety concerns. We're told protesters tried to climb onto it in order to spray paint graffiti, this being after the Johnny Reb statue was already removed. Originally, the city said the entire removal process could take up to four days, but at the rate they're going, it could be sooner. They're going to be out here, we anticipate, until about 6 o'clock this evening, so working on 12 hours to try and get as much of it uh, down as possible. And uh, we're being told from the contractor that it should take about two days. Everything except the three steps leading up to the monument will be removed. Madison Kimbrough with that story. The monument's final destination is still undecided, but the city will hold a public hearing on July 7th to discuss the options. And the main one is Elmwood Cemetery.